Gambit Gaming. So let's hand it over to them for a closer look into that fifth straight win. Thanks, Quick Chat. We're here with Diamond and Pinoy after that stellar performance versus Fnatic. Five game winning streak. The first thing I got to ask you, Diamond, what changed from before the winning streak and right after? Um, I think the only thing that has changed is like our practice. We just got our normal internet. We started to practice really good and then Jordan arrived and helped us really big it out uh, with our fails and stuff to fix them. And now we're improving day by day. As I said, like two weeks or one week before, we're improving. So we're beating more and more guys. Okay, Pino, I have a little question for you. Kalista, it felt like pretty much the perfect champion to have against our team comp. So many Lawrence characters, Zed, Maokai, Olaf. After you got such a good early game, how confident were you in your ability to just carry this game? Uh, I felt really confident because we have a strong front line. Or I know that my cannon will uh, zone their back line, so the only thing I have to worry about is Olaf and Maokai, which uh, Kalista is good against. And they were stacking armor, so, armor, so I got an early um, uh, last whisper, so I didn't get... I didn't feel pressure any in the team fights at all. Yeah, it is very good. Okay, I got another question for Diamond here. Your level one, it was a bit scary for me to see. You did get <laughs> invaded on your blue and it got stolen. You tried to invade their blue but got first blood. But still, afterwards, you managed to still get such good map control, such good flanks off. How did you manage to make that happen? I think it was all because they tried to uh, push their advantage further on and came to our red and just gave us two free kills and that really uh, just let me came back into the game and then I was just so ahead that I could buy like not a lot of wards but I could apply so much pressure on the on the map that they couldn't held, handle it and if I wouldn't uh, give some crabs to yellow star then it would be even better but it was very good as was we saw you going for the skirmisher saber again even though the first times you ran it on Jarvan in the beginning of the season was your thing but here on Rek'Sai it really worked explain us why uh, because Rek'Sai is <coughs> much better champion than any other, other one. Like Nidalee and Rex are pretty much like really good and other junglers are like poor, weak. <laughs> <laughs> so those are your top two picks yesterday on Nidalee, also fantastic game. Talk us through um, the shot calling in your team with Betsy coming in. Tabs pointed out that maybe with Nick going you would have some trouble there, but Betsy stepping up and it seemed like you guys knew exactly where you were going on the map and someone had a close reign on that, Pinoy. So uh, Nick, after our losing streak, uh, we wanted we decided to put a main shot caller, and that was practicing with Nick as the shot caller. But after he's got away, uh, Edward is and me, or uh, Edward and Kabushard are more in the control, and Edward is stepping up really huge in uh, our comps. So he's like taking the role of Nick until he comes back. I see. Talk me through, uh, well, playing with Betsy a little more because yesterday he had a good game, but you, you were carrying on Italy a lot, so the team was kind of going on that. And then today you're like, Betsy, you're going up against Febivin's Zed, his worst or his best champion, Ratter, and a very bad matchup for you. So how did he react to that because he stepped up to the plate? Uh, Betsy is play, playing really well. I wasn't even afraid of him doing like some poor stuff against Febivin because I think he can like stay that lane 50-50. Either he will stay safe or he will like uh, dominate he, uh, Febivin. He stayed safe, then they get him, give, gave him advantage, then he, he went just like bottom lane and almost killed that 1v1 and keep, kept going, that kept doing that thing for all the game. So I was really confident in that guy, even though he's not uh, like talking, talking much when he's playing, but uh, I guess he's a really great player, and I'm glad that we had him as, an, uh, as a sub. As a yeah. sub yeah. He did uh, hit those charms when he needed to. Let's actually take a look at a team fight of uh, one of the team fights in uh, the end of the game where Fnatic is strong and tanky, but you guys managed to pull it out. Pinoy, walk us through it. Yeah, so we, uh, uh, Kabushad is calling that he will flank them, and so we just tried to fight them. Uh, our focus is on Seth because he ulted our cannon, I, no, not cannon, I believe. And then we're just trying to kill whoever is like close. We want to fight uh, to our advantage. Like as long as the fight go, we win the game because Kalista is just stacking the rent, and we just clean up here. We t oh no, we're not continuing the replay. <laughs> <laughs> well, from there you won the next fight, and then you won the game. Um, how come that in this one you guys were also very self-confident in closing the game out? We saw in your other wins also nice wins, but it took a little while to close it out, and and then work that well. Why in this one it was just straightforward? Uh, I think it's mostly because their team composition was lack of wave clear. And mm -hmm. like when we were having poor experience of uh, 
finishing the game, it wasn't because our fail, it was like against Xero for Azure or champions which just like clearing the waves really fast and even then you have five dragons and Baron, you can't even rush Azure because he doesn't provide you any tankiness, so he will just one-shot you as always. Mm -hmm. And he was really strong back then. That's pretty much why we are clo we closed that game faster than previous ones. Yeah, and what a victory versus Fnatic. And it's typical EU LCS, everybody's beating everybody. Uh, Diamond and Pinoy, can you give me maybe your opinion on how the standings are evolving and why you guys have found new life and light and teams like Elements and Rocket don't seem to find their swing? Yeah. You have something to uh, say? I <laughs> think uh, Elements is like, they won last year and I think it's not as motivating because you can't stay at the top all the time while the new teams with uh, new rosters and new ch uh, members coming in they have so much fresh blood and I don't I, it's not uh, okay to say they wanted more but I think they wanted more because they're just uh, enjoying the new uh, environment playing in the LCS professionally Diamond anything to add? I don't know like elements are having a big problems with their roster as I see uh, Fnatic are playing really good they're just losing because of their because of opponents finding their weaknesses and playing on it. And like, our very good team SK, they only lost to Fnatic. I don't know why. And in the end, Gambit's on a five game winning streak, so it's all good for you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, coming up in just a few minutes is a matchup between two squads who are hungry for wins, Rockat and Elements. Stay tuned and see who starts their climb in the tables in just a few minutes. Hoodie, 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 hoodie. They are a crazy boy. What? They are crazy boy. What? All my fans? All crazy boy. Oh my god! You 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 must shut up. <laughs> dodged one, he's dodged two, he's dodged three, he can't dodge them all. Does get caught out. Gambit secure a kill. Now cap a shot. They've stunned that Come on, okay, come on. No, okay. go on set, go on set, go on set, 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 set. Finish him, finish him. Finish that, finish that, finish that! Nice. They don't need vision when they can just engage. They've TP'd onto Fnatic. Eddie's going to be taken out by Febervin, but is it enough? This is the fight that wins Gambit, their fifth game in a row. The Nexus turret is falling. Gambit is back!